welcome back to another episode of Car Parts are randomly showing up at my house for me to put on the Mustang and I have an empty bank account. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, this is my 2012 Mustang GT. I already got on jack stands just so this goes a little bit quicker. And then that out there is my 03 Mustang V6 with 250,000 miles. Both of these cars are getting worked on currently, um, little by little. I'm trying to make them better than they were before. This one was pretty much amazing to me and doesn't really need much. Uh, just little things. It needs a hood though because the corrosion is really bad. So, Ford. Anyways, um, I just got the caster camera plates on the last video if you guys saw that. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. Hopefully it's good. I haven't looked at it yet. Just a quick little rundown what we have on this car, if you're new. The Maximum Motorsport caster camera plates. An air aid race colder intake with a tune. Well, the required tune is just an SCT can tune. Then we have a JLT catch can. Um, we have 2013 Roush front bumper with a Celine grill and a Roush lower grill. It's got an Exidy Mach 500 clutch in it. That's new still. Um, Coney orange shocks and struts. It's on KMC wheels. It's got iBlock sport lines and MBRP muffler. Or, MVRP cat back and then Jake's cat delete pipes with the H pipe from the factory still on it. Got a shorty antenna from American Muscle, nothing crazy, but it works. Looks better than the factory one. And then I, you can't see it up here, but we have a Barton two post shifter bracket underneath the car, which helps firm up the uh, shifting. And then, not really much has been done to the interior. Um, there's Kona. That's my car show companion when Cassie's not around. And then we also have just this vinyl here. And I got HIDs, so nothing crazy. It's just more of a car show car. But today, we're going to be hopefully... Well, and I also have a McLeod uh, stainless clutch line. That was something I forgot to mention. How dare I do that? We also have a Skeeta assist spring. But anyways, I got this in today, and we're going to put this on the car, hopefully. Easily, hopefully. And it shouldn't be too hard. Um, videos I've seen of it, it's pretty easy. It's just you're on your back. It's the worst part of it. It's just literally just down of a lift. Otherwise, it would be really easy. Ten minutes tops. And yeah, but that's how most of these things go. Anyways, the point of this, this is a Steeda transmission bushing, so when you put that transmission bushing on, it should keep, or it should reduce all the flex from the transmission to the shifter because the shifter is remote mounted to the body and uses linkage to go to the transmission compared to typical transmissions where the shifter is right on top of the transmission and that's all connected. So the motor, transmission, shifter, all that's in line with each other. With the MT82 cars, it uses a remote shifter, kind of like some of the older muscle cars used to use. Uh, I don't know why Ford decided to go back to this. I guess it was, it does shift super smooth when it works right, but it doesn't usually work right for me, but hopefully today we can fix that. But you have problems going into gears at the light. Um, sometimes you get locked out of gears or get it, like it bites a little bit when you go in the gear. And it's just overall it's not very pleasant when it doesn't want to work. So today we're going to put that bushing in. Hopefully this thing fixes my problem. So I'm going to get under the car. Hopefully I can film this for you guys or at least tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I got the jack ready to go on the transmission so I can take all the bolts out and... It should be pretty easy, so I'll see you under the car. Okay, so it's a little bit too tight for me to actually be able to do this and show you. So what I'm going to tell you is you remove this bolt here and this bolt here. And then you remove these four bolts right here. You want to keep the transmission jacked up a little bit in that way, because this holds the transmission up. So when you take that off, it'll just fall. Or it'd put a lot of extra stress on the drive shaft and the engine. You don't want to do that. So have a jack to bring it up a little bit and you'll be fine. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these off and I'll show you how to install it afterwards. Okay, now you can see the support's out. And this is what the support looks like. 
The only thing you got to remember is pay attention to that where it says that. That way you get her back in the proper way. Next step is to get this out of the packaging, grease it up with the grease that's actually supplied in the kit, and then throw this bad boy in there and I'll show you what it looks like after it's in. Alright, so the bushing is installed. The uh, worst part of it is you just get covered in grease. The other part that sucks about it is it's just kind of hard to push it back in there. But what I found to be useful was once you get it far enough, just use a pair of those. You'll be fine. Hopefully this works. Some people have good luck with this, others don't. We'll see. Now I will say there is a lot more transmission noise, or a lot more noise coming from the transmission, which is common with this mod. Anyways, here we go. I'll show you. So, first, works. Clutch out. Back in. It's a little clunky still, but reverse. 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 First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And brakes off. First gear. Alright, that works. So, reverse. There you have it, that is the Steeda transmission bushing. Seems like it works right now, we'll see. I still think I need a different shifter. Um, it's a little notchy here and there and I'm not a fan of it. I think a shifter would really make it feel better. Or at least more solid, which is what I'm looking for. <sighs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. I got a lot of content coming out, specifically with the old Mustang, which is just an 03. But still, I mean, it's my first car. Well, first real car. I had another car. This is my second car. This new one is my third car. Weird. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I've just been living no lie, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. I'm local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that. Telling me, telling me things about rap. I'm talking the truth and that's stabbing my back, then when I get track, no, no. Too many things have been built and been hard to deal with, I've just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking. Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near. All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong. One shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control, but I can't let it go, cause I'm trying to get more. And I've been in the moment, I've been in the zone, and I'm moving alone. I don't pick up the phone with my family, call, I've been doing it wrong, and I don't know what's happening. Trying to get what I've just been imagining. Getting close, and I've just been examining all the fiction, the game is repaying. We should make him think we're filming this flyby and just like talk the whole time to the camera. Here it comes, do you hear it? <laughs> wow.